Hey, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be discussing the aspect ratio component. And then we're just going to do a quick example. There's not a lot to this, so let's just get going. Already with our floating body dude meditating next to us on all things chakra, let's look at aspect ratio. It says here at the top, aspect ratio component is used to embed responsive videos, maps, all that other good stuff. It uses a very common padding hack. No, I'm not going to click that link. I've clicked it. I've read over it. But I imagine most people watching this video just want to get to the actual coding. But let's do our due diligence. Actually read through the documentation before we jump on in. So we have import. Just like we import everything else, this typical statement up here. And it allows us to click to copy. But if we go to the embedded video here, it says to embed a video with a specific aspect ratio. Use an iframe with the source pointing to the link of the video. And then we need a max width prop and uh, aspect ratio to control the width of the content. So here they have this Hood Naruto Part 3 video. I haven't watched it, but it looks kind of funny from the thumbnail here. We could see down here in the actual code, we have the max width, which is 560 pixels. And then a ratio of 1. And then the iframe they're talking about. But maybe you don't always want like a video in there or something. So now let's look at the actual image here. And we could see that we could have a max width, which, which is what they recommend. We have the source, but now we have a ratio of 4 to 3. Okay, so that's pretty easy to do. Looking at this map right here, same thing in iframe like the video above. But this is 16 by 9, so it's a bit longer of a width. And it just uh, it looks pretty good because with maps you want to have um, you know some nice width and height, but not have it be overbearing on your website. We come down here looking at the props, we see the ratio, what we've been seeing in the examples right here. And here are the common ones 21 by 9, 16 by 9, 9 by 16, 4, 3, and 1.85 by 1. I imagine you could tweak this as much as you want to, but um, let's uh, move from the documentation and get our hands dirty coding. All right, so you can see my code right here, and it's just a basic gutted app.js file. And I have the shocker provider in there. Hint, hint, I'm going to have the shocker provider in every video. But let's go ahead and add the aspect ratio in. Now I have the aspect ratio. There's this error because I think it's, it's wanting or expecting something in the aspect ratio. So it's just, you know, giving this to me right here. But let's go ahead and do like an iframe. So let's do something like a YouTube video. And let's slap it in here and play with it. And I'll show you some of the cool things you could do with the aspect ratio. So as you see here, we have this Mr. Beast video. I recently discovered him over the past few months. And I got to say, his formula for making videos that you watch the whole way through is pretty dang good. So uh, that's why I'm going to be using him as an example here. So right now we just have this aspect ratio. It has the, you know, the width and the height given in here. This is standard. This is basic. But how do we use the different, you know, ratios to maybe mold this in a certain way to show it off to our user? Let's go ahead and do that. So this is a 16 by 9 example. There's other popular ones like a 21 by 9, 16 by 9, 9 by 16, 4 by 3, and 1.85 by 1. I don't know much about these. I've, you know, obviously, maybe it's not obvious to you. I edit and do all this stuff myself, but, you know, I, I don't know a ton about different aspect ratios, but you're not just hard coded or hardwired to those values I just gave to you. You could plug what you want to in here and kind of tweak out what you want. So let's do another ratio here. And do 21 by 9. We can see that this slims it up a little bit, but we're still able to click on it. It looks good. It looks nice. Let's do a 4 by 3. And we can see that this gets a little bit taller. And I think this looks actually a little bit better than the previous one because you can see the entire image on here. It looks a bit fuller. But this is just for like the embedded videos you may want to do something specifically with pictures. So I should already have a picture of my dog, Bernie, here. He's so adorable. So let's go ahead and do this with just 
a picture because it may make a little bit more sense to get creative with the ratios. So now we have my dog Bernie here and let's play with the ratios a little bit. Let's do a 21 by nine again. And we see that this slenderizes it a little bit. I don't know if that's an actual word, but we can see that it pulls it up a bit more. Let's do a that 1.85 by one. That's actually really interesting. I wanna see what that looks like. Oh, it's just slightly different here. So this is how you work with you know, the iframes, and you can do this with uh, Google Maps example like we saw in the previous section here. You guys said YouTube videos, you can do this with pictures, other videos as well. And yeah, this is aspect ratio. It may not be the exact thing you need for a particular solution, but I think it's pretty interesting that they give this to you here and give you this ratio feature because sometimes you will have maybe corner cases where you need something very specific like this. So yeah, this is aspect ratios. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for uh, checking this video out and I'll see you in the next one.